Welcome back for another Waterfowl Wednesday, and today we're going to be talking about goose calling. I am not claiming to be the best goose caller in the world. I'm actually not that great at goose calling. I know how to do a couple of calls, and I know how to kill birds. So I've been asked to kind of do some tutorials over goose calling, and I've been pretty hesitant towards it because, like, I don't really know how to do double clucks and I don't know how to do like spit notes and stuff, but I do know how to call birds to where I can get them into the decoys. And it's really not as difficult as you might think. Before we get into talking about goose calls and calling tips that I have, I just want to explain that you can be the best caller in the world, but if you don't scout and find where the birds go, you're really gonna have a hard time getting the birds into the spread. So you can be an adequate caller and know how to use the honk and the clucks and the moans and you'll be able to kill birds if you've done your scouting correctly. And that's kind of the shoes that I'm in. I am focused most of my time on ducks and I don't hunt that many geese. But when I do get a chance to hunt geese, I scout them hard, I figure out where they go and I just give them some clucks and honks and flag them in and we, we generally do pretty good. The goose call that I use is a polycarb gander hammer by Buck Gardner Calls. Uh, I got this call for like 10, 15 bucks and I've been using this for a while. The call I had before this one was the Quackhead Goose Zilla and that's the one that Lucas likes. That one, that the Goose Zilla is a really good call to learn on and this one is as well. Um, the Goose Zilla is really low and kind of moany and you can get those moans really easily with that call. And this call is really easy to get the clucks on. So each of them has their perks, but this is the call that I use most of the time. First things first, how to hold the call. Well, I was always taught to hold the call with your right hand because I'm right handed. If you're left handed, hold it in your left hand. But what I do is I hold the call like so. You see that? And what I'm going to do is basically make a golf ball fit inside this little hole inside my hand. So I don't want to close off my hand at all like this because that's like putting too much back pressure in the call, but I don't want to have it open because that's not enough back pressure in the call. And when I say back pressure, it basically means you're kind of holding the air in your hand and it's kind of putting pressure on the reed from the back side. So what I'm going to do is just leave that little golf ball inside of there and think of that as just hanging out and chilling there. And then the next thing that I do is I take my other hand and I kind of cup it around the outside and I'm able to move my hand like this to give the call some different sounds and tones based on where my hand is. The first call that you need to learn how to do is the cluck. This is just a simple <coughs> just the cluck, okay? And I figured the best way to explain how to do this is I just say hoot, hoot, hoot. And it's down here. You come from the diaphragm and you're kind of basically growling in your gut and pushing it up. Because if you're just throating it, it's, it doesn't have that, that kind of girth to it. When you call, whether it be ducks or geese, you want it to come from your diaphragm and you want to put voice inflection into the call to make it sound a little bit more realistic. So your cluck, you're basically going to be saying hoot, but you're going to be going hoot, hoot, just kind of like your quack. You're going to be hoot, hoot, hoot. Kind of like when you do a quack in your duck call, you're going to be going, Oot. it's similar to that, but different. You're going to have to play around with it. I basically just say, Oot. Oot. here's what it sounds like in the back of the call. Oot. 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 And I want to cut it off hard with a hard T. I'm going, Oot. Oot. because that kind of gives it that breakover point. Oot. 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 Just going to stop it right there. Oot. 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 Next, we're going to go over the moan, and the moan is basically a content goose feeding. It's just another noise that the goose makes. <laughs> that is what the moan sounds like, and to do it, what I do is I basically say right into the call. That's all I'm doing, and it's really coming from down low like I talked about earlier. With your clucks, you can get a little bit more throaty and really be forceful with that, but with your moans, you want to get a little bit softer and really kind of growl it. You want to be right in your diaphragm and your gut and kind of letting everything relax and just going And it's really, really simple. Just be real soft, and if you play around with it enough, you should be able to get the hang of it. 
The last thing is putting the two together, the moan and the cluck, and you're gonna get a honk. The honk is basically taking the moan and the cluck and meshing them together to form the honk. So you're gonna start with the moan and then finish with the cluck, and it sounds like this. <laughs> Okay, and the way that you do this is you take your moan, I'll do this in the back of the call, you take your moan and you finish it with the cluck, just like you're meshing the two together, so you're going So I think of it as saying, who it, who it, who it, into the call. If you play with it enough and you practice, you should be able to get the hang of it pretty quick. Luke learned how to do the honk and the cluck, pretty quickly, basically a couple of hours just playing with this call and me working with him on it and he learned it really quick. So when I'm out in the field and hunting geese, I like to listen to the birds. I want to only call when they call, so then you know I'm not being too aggressive and then they're being like, oh, I don't wanna be a part of that. Because I think of geese as being just the cool cats, like the big honkers, not like the little squawky lessers. I'm talking about the big daddy grader honkers, man. That is what I like to shoot. The lessers are just kind of a pain in the butt. So when you're calling honkers, I like to listen to them. And I like to, if they give me a cluck, I'll give them a cluck. But if they're not being vocal at all, I'm not going to be vocal at all. Because if you're watching geese in the field, sometimes they're feeding really aggressive and they're not making any noise at all. And sometimes you just hear clucks and moans and sometimes they're just being all noisy. But my best tip for you guys when you're calling is to just call when they call and listen to the birds and give them what they like. I hope this video helps you guys learn how to call geese. Like I said, I'm not like the greatest caller in the world for geese. I just know how to do a cluck, a moan, and a honk, and I, I generally kill geese pretty easily. But it just comes down to scouting, so make sure you're not skipping that step because that is like the most crucial thing I can tell you to do is go scout. And if you scout right and, and you find where the birds are going, you're gonna have a really easy time. You're just gonna get a call when the birds call and they'll come right in. If you wanna see more waterfowl hunting content, go over to Bobby Guy Films. He posts Fowl Fridays every Friday. It's kinda of like my Waterfowl Wednesdays, but he posts on Fridays. So check those out if you haven't already. Go ahead and follow me on my social media. I've got a Twitter, I've got an Instagram, and I've got a Snapchat. Those are on the screen. I've also got a Facebook, so you can follow me on there. I'll start posting on that more as time goes on once school starts I'm really kind of online more than I am this summer that will kind of be a little bit more active leave me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already I post duck hunting content every week and I also post fishing content when I have the chance so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if this video helped me leave me a thumbs up if you have any other tips for new beginner callers leave it in the comments I would love to hear it and I'm sure they would too so check those out if you are wanting to learn some more that is all I've got I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you on the next one.